Good day everyone, fan of here. Today we'll be talking all about the spell Entangle in OSRS. The level 79 spell requiring 4 nature runes, 5 water runes, 5 earth runes, or an Entangle sack. So without further ado, please consider subscribing and let's get it right into it guys. All Everything will be sourced from the OSRS wiki. Uh, OSRS.wiki. So let's get into it. <clears throat> but about what actual history of Entangle is, it was released on March 29, 2004. So 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, <clears throat> is a members only spell requiring level 79 magic. It's part of the standard or normal sp spell book, I like to call it normal. It's a combat spell granting 89 experience upon a, success a successful hit. And 70 on splash, we'll go more into that. <clears throat> With a base max hit of 5, it requires the elemental runes, earth, water, and nature. However, you can use combination runes. With a casting speed of 5 ticks, the description reads, Hold your, holds your opponent for 15 seconds. The sound of Entangle goes as follows. <laughs> The wiki does not hold that much information about it because there's not ma that much to explain about it. However, I will give my personal antidote to this because this is one of my u most used spells in the whole game. But let's read the whole um, the message about it here. Main points about Entangle. Entangle is a members only spell that requires level 79 magic to cast. Casting an Entangle hold will hold your target in place for 24 ticks, which is 14.4 seconds. <clears throat> I did not even know that. And grants 89 magic experience <clears throat> in addition to 2 experience per damage dealt. <clears throat> a successful hit without any damage boosting items can deal up to 5 damage. <clears throat> when used on a player and the entanglement is about to wear off, the, entangle or the entangled player will receive the message in the chat box. The holding effect is beginning to fade. <clears throat> I don't even remember them adding that. <laughs> we gotta try that out one day. Players can increase the binding duration of equip of it by equipping a swamp bark. Now, I believe you have to equip the full set, that being the helm, body, legs, which will increase the duration of your entangle by 1.2 seconds or two six two ticks up to a maximum of 30 ticks. Oh, so you don't have to wear the full set. Don't quote me on that. Once the spell wears off, the target has 5 ticks, 3 seconds of immunity before they can be entangled again. So 5 seconds. Just count in your head. 5 seconds before you can entangle your opponent again. <clears throat> upon, upon successful cast. Now we will go to specifics about how long in between, like, uh, like if you're using a staff. How long do you wait in, like, you know, how many game ticks do you wait? How many steps do you wait if somebody's running from you? We can go into that, guys. <clears throat> We can go into that. I, I, I think I know uh, specific use case scenarios uh, of when you should like entangle somebody. <clears throat> but but it, again, it's a work in progress right now. <clears throat> so on, on unsuccessful cast or a splash, you yields about only any magic experience. <clears throat> and entangle is a stronger version of the tw level twenty spell bind and the level fifty spell snare. We'll go quickly into bind. Bind holds for about 5 seconds, and Snare holds for about 10 seconds, so they are the weaker variety for sure. <laughs> of course, let's go a little bit into the animation. Here's how it looks. The player on the right is casting the Entangle, and the player on the left is the one being Entangled. So, go a little bit about into the cost of Entangle. So, the base spell costs 5 water runes, 5 earth runes, and 4 nature runes with a cost of 484 gold. Or you can go with 5 water runes, 4 nature runes, and 5 dust runes for a cost of 509 gold. However, I personally enjoy bringing the next one which is 4 nature runes and 5 mud runes coming in at cost of 99 gold. You, you do not have to bring any more runes than that to cast entangle or you could just bring the t uh, entangle sack but back before Entangle Sacks, back before when Entangle Sacks were being able to use in PvP, we had to bring those Nature and those uh, Mud Runes. So if you, you guys remember, let me know in the comments. Next we have 5 Water Runes, 4 Nature, and 5 Lava Runes. 
lava being, I believe, I don't know exactly, probably like air plus water, or I don't know, <laughs> excuse me. Next we have uh, the next, uh, uh, it being 544 gold, that's not, that's not that bad, <clears throat> but next we have five earth, four nature, and five mist runes coming at 1004 gold. <sighs> Again, I don't u really use those combinations, um, these ones really cost the most. The, the the one that costs the most is you can bring five earth, four nature, and five mist runes, I believe. <sighs> Either mist or steam. <sighs> well, now you can always use, also use in a, it in combination with a staff. So <clears throat> that that is actually useful for PKing to save an inventory split space. You can use five earth, four nature, and one water rune or water staff or water battle staff coming in at 464 gold you can use five water four nature or a it seems to be a lava or earth coming in at 464 gold you have a four nature runes and five a, a mud staff or mystic mud staff coming in at 444 gold uh, next you have five water runes five earth runes and 3.93 Nature runes with a Brifosate staff. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which does save nature runes, it seems. Coming in at 477 gold, but the cheapest is not yet to be announced. Next, we have the main and offhand, so you're going to be combining combining both. Now, what they say by offhands is specifically the tone of water. So we have five earth runes, four nature runes, and a tone of water for 464 gold. <laughs> or you can use four nature runes, a earth staff. And a tome of water for 444 gold. Or you can just use five earth runes and four uh, three point nine three nature runes with a brifosate staff and a tome of water. So there's so many different combinations you can use. And you you really don't have to risk a ton. <laughs> However, I personally just use a toxic staff because I've been I uh, I I I started off using items that were like that are on this list, uh, like smoke battle staff. Uh, but if you are new, I definitely recommend trying it out like this. That being said, you're you're gonna you're gonna miss out on the DPS you're getting from stronger staffs such as the smoke battle staff, toxic staff, code A one. But those are things that you probably wouldn't want to lose. So uh, you can always go unscold. Okay, so Entangle has a lot of different change log things that have happened. First, we have Rep Protect from Magic no longer has the duration of Entangle. So, uh, I don't know why, when, when, why they added that, but they did that. And they changed it in tw September 2019. Uh, guys, does anyone remember that? On January 11, 2023, an audio cue and message have been added to the Entangle spell to tell their victims when their freeze is about to expire and that's still that's still available but i think if you have your like game on the filter mode it doesn't even show like i don't remember that like i, I always have my game on the filter mo mode i don't remember that so these are all very fairly recent changes next we have june 21st 2023 this is concerned about the swamp bark armor as before you needed the full set including the gloves and the hats now you just need the helm body and legs to for the full uh armor boost and tick uh, extra freezes so each outfit piece now increases the duration of uh, entangled spells by additional tick the complete bonus increases to the duration of six ticks it's very good how our swan bark swan bark is not the best in slot armor and that means it will splash a lot more you don't have those defense bonuses but those extra freeze uh, seconds are a lot a lot worth it so <clears throat> Last but not least, we have September 23rd, 2023. Lower Magic Experience gain of 74 splashing for Entangle Spell is now consistent for both PvP and PvM. So I don't know if it was uh, lower for PvM or not. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if it did, if they were, they owe you XP or something. <laughs> I'm kidding, but thanks so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we will do a poll on the next one, guys. Uh, these take a lot out of me, so... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and... Uh, I know I talk a lot of crap about the game, but 
It's an awesome game, and I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys.